Taoiseach, uh, your policy on the banks is not working. Even in the short time since we met here last week, uh, Post, Post Bank has announced uh, that it's going to be ceasing operations, looking at a possible loss of 160 jobs there. Hughes and Hughes's booksellers have gone into receivership, told 225 jobs being lost there. The clothing retailers, Vera Moda and Associated um, Retailers, 80 jobs. Uh, SIAC, 55 jobs. Uh, we don't know how many more jobs are gone in various uh, small uh, businesses uh, around the country, although we'll probably get some indication uh, when you leak the live register figures later this evening in anticipation of their publication uh, tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, we hear from um, businesses, the ICC uh, monitor companies, 952 companies went insolvent last year. ISBI tell us that over half of uh, companies applying for loans or overdraft facilities uh, are being refused. So what is happening, Taoiseach, is that uh, the banks are not lending to business. Uh, they're not lending to business. Your policy on banking is not working, and because of that, there are many people in this country who are not working now either. We are now in the third calendar year of this recession. It's a year ago since the government announced its policy to establish NAMA. To date, as I understand it, not a single loan has been transferred as of yet to NAMA. The banking policy isn't working. You rejected last year the Labour Party proposal for a temporary nationalisation of the banks. Now it looks like you're going to have a gradual uh, nationalisation by default anyway. So can I ask you this, Taoiseach? Do you have any plans to change government policy in relation to the banks? Or are we going to have a continuation of a policy which is resulting in little or no credit being made available to businesses with the consequences for the survival of those businesses and for jobs and a policy which is requiring the taxpayer to dig deeper and deeper into our pockets to pay over thousands of millions of euros to Anglo-Irish, to Allied uh, and to the other covered institutions. Supplementary, Deputy Gilmore. Well, <coughs> Ken Corla, uh, I remember the first time that I raised the issue of banks with the Taoiseach. It was on the 25th of June 2008. And on that occasion, I told you, Taoiseach, that the banks are now closed to new business. And I told you that it, it appears that the banks are squeezing the life out of many businesses because they were lending to them. That was before Lehman Brothers, before the bank guarantee, uh, June of 2008. This is what you told me. You said, it is important to point out that as the central bank has confirmed, the Irish banking system is well capitalised and is in a healthy state in terms of its own financial situation. Now, three months later, we discovered uh, that that wasn't the case. And on that occasion, you told us, when on that occasion the Labour Party challenged the guarantee uh, that you were bringing in the blanket guarantee, you said, it is my intention to ensure that the Irish taxpayer will not be held liable in any way for any deficit that might occur in the event of there being a problem in the future. That was 11,000 million euro ago. We've now paid over 11,000 million euro uh, to the bank since you told us that it wasn't going to cost uh, anything. We are apparently now going to have to pay over more. Allied Irish lined up, Anglo apparently with the law of a Maharish coming again uh, for more capitalisation. And what do you tell us? You tell us that you stand ready to provide, uh, to provide capital. How many more times are you going to get it wrong? before you realise that the government is going to have to change its position on the banks? How many more people are going to have to lose their jobs? How many more businesses are going to have to, uh, to, to, to go to the wall? For how many more decades do you intend to beggar 
those who are at work today and their children and possibly their grandchildren to pay for a failed banking system. The reality, Taoiseach, is, is that your banking policy is not working. And because it's not working, people in this country are out of work. And it's about time that you change tack on the banking system. Instead of maintaining this dogged approach that you're right, that you were always right, that you haven't got it, got it wrong. You came in here a year ago and you told, you told the Labour Party, fair enough, we can argue and we can differ on the policy. You told us, as you are telling us now, that the policy that we were advocating at the time, which was temporary nationalisation, that, that you wouldn't accept that. Even as recently as this morning, we had pretty cautious commentators on radio telling us that it is now pretty well inevitable that we are going to be in the nationalisation domain. How much of a bank has, does the state have to own before you say that it is, uh, uh, that it is nationalised? That is the reality. The reality, Taoiseach, is, and it's time you woke up to it, that the government's banking policy is not working. It's not working in the interest of the taxpayer. It's not working in the interest of businesses. It's not working in the interest of those who are losing their jobs. And it's about time that you changed it. And if you're not prepared to accept alternatives that are proposed by the Labour Party or by Fine Gael or by anybody else, then at least come in with an alternative yourself that has some prospect of working, because what you're doing now is not just not working.